If you're not familiar with Hugging Face, you'll definitely want to check it out today. It is the AI community for building the future. As it says here right on their site, really what Hugging Face is, a community platform that offers tools for helping you build, train, and deploy solutions for machine learning, including models, and is based on open source technology. So mainly it serves as a hub or a landing place for people to collaborate, share and contribute their open source projects that have to do with machine learning, AI, data sets, models, and what have you. Think of it as sort of the GitHub for essential machine learning or AI content. Anyways, if you haven't checked it out already, this is what huggingface.co looks like. I'll put a link in the description below. There are all sorts of demos that you can use and they have great information, including tutorials about using machine learning and AI for all sorts of use cases. So if we check out models, which is probably one of the most exciting things about this platform, you can actually filter the various different models. There's 184,000 as of recording this video available here. And it even shows you the popularity of the various different models. Top four being the BERT based on case model. Then we got the wave two vector two, distill BERT and then GPT-2 with over 42 million downloads of BERT and almost 19 million of GPT-2. The awesome part here is you can actually filter whatever kind of task you want your model to be able to do. And then you can research that model. So for those of you who want to dabble in machine learning and AI, this is an absolutely great resource to check out. Let's take a look over here. For example, let's say I want to use a model that's able to answer questions. Well, I can go to the natural language processing. That just means it can process words and language like a human can. So question answering, that's exactly what I'm looking for. And then boom, here we go. I have all of these varying different models, which I can check out individually, but you can also sort for most downloaded. So it looks like this Roberta based squad two is the most downloaded. If we click on this, it'll give us a rundown of, of what the model is and what it was actually tuned on or trained on. So for example, here it says the Roberta based model. So if you want to learn about Roberta base, you can is fine tuned on these on the squad 2.0 data set, which stands for Stanford question answering data set. It's been trained on these question answer pairs, including unanswerable questions for the task of question answering. So then they give you an example over here where they put in a question, supply some context to the model and boom, you get an answer down here with a percentage of how confident it is on the answer. How wonderful. There's also multiple examples here if you want to check those out as well. It gives you some hyperparameters of the model in case you want to train it yourself and actually goes through how to use it to an extent. That's why Hugging Face is so powerful. It's a great place to check out these models and start doing some research based on what you're trying to accomplish with a model. Of course, there are so many different tasks available, so make sure to check them out. The subcategories here are multimodal, meaning you can do varying things, computer vision, natural language processing, audio and tabular. So if you have some sort of an idea or task that you wanna fill, definitely a place to start looking at it. They also have data sets. So if you want to be able to train your own model, you can actually go through and download a data set and then train your model on that data set or even fine tune the data set and then train. It's a wonderful thing. But probably the coolest thing here is Spaces. Spaces is recently submitted code and running models that you can actually use. For example, there's a caption anything. So it allows you to caption an image based on selecting an image, the model looking through it, trying to figure out what's in the image and then creating a caption for you, which this one says a hummingbird on a branch sure looks very close to that. Now it's not actually on the branch, but it is very close to the branch. There's other examples you can take a look at. For example, this one's kind of funny. Let's check out what it guesses this is. It says a dog running on a white background. Well, that's pretty close. <laughs> but anyways, this is a great start to check out the space and you can actually duplicate the space or actually look at the source for the space, which allows you to see code that was generated in order to create this. And a lot of these are open source projects. So you can check out the project directly and figure out how to make your own model or technology based on the open source projects. And that's why Hugging Face is an absolutely wonderful place to check out anything machine learning or AI related. They also have all sorts of documentation available that runs you through various different examples, including transformers, data sets, diffusers, 
accelerating, evaluating, simulating sensors, and more. I've used some of the documentation in the past in order to do some of my own projects. So it's definitely a nice place to start out and learn about all the varying things. Namely here, Hugging Face is a natural language processing company, which provides a whole bunch of these open source tools and libraries for us. They're actually known for their transformer library that provides transformer based models, which can do a bunch of these natural language processing tasks and has extensive documentation on them. So definitely a great provider of tools and resources for natural language processing. And if you haven't heard of them, go check them out today and make sure to smash that like button for me. Catch me in a great community on Discord and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.